This video will demonstrate the recommended process for setting up and installing your Dorner 7350 series belted conveyor. Please refer to the service manual for more information on these steps. There are a few tools required, a level, torque wrench, 5/32nd hex wrench, 10 mm hex wrench, 13 mm hex wrench, and 14 mm hex wrench. The recommended installation sequence is as follows. Assemble the conveyor, attach the stands, install the belt, install belt return, install the gear motor, and install guiding. Upon receiving your Dorner conveyor, unpack all items and make sure all required parts are included. If required, assemble the conveyor sections now. Refer to the manual for additional instructions. First, attach your stands to the frame using bolts and hex nuts. Tighten the screws to 14 to 16 foot-pounds. For instructions on installing the belt, refer to the AquaGuard 7350 series belted conveyor belt change video. Install the carriage bolt through the frame rail and place the return bracket. Install the return clip and loosely secure with the nut. Repeat on both sides of the conveyor. Place the stub shaft through the puck and spacer and install onto the return bracket. Rotate the return clip down against the shaft on both sides of the conveyor. Then tighten the nuts. Next, we'll install the motor. With the shaft key in place, attach the three-jaw coupling to the shaft and tighten. Insert the spider bushing. Place the gear motor and attach to the conveyor frame with M8 bolts and tighten. Then attach the controller to the mounting bar with M6 bolts and tighten. Next, we'll install the guiding. First, remove the top screw from the conveyor side. Assemble the mounting block to the conveyor side with the screw provided. Install the guide into the slot of the mounting block and tighten the screw.